Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to a buzzing question and answer session today here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, I haven't done one of these videos for a long time where I've just sat on the balcony and uh, gone through a specific amount of questions. And today what I'm going to do, the reason I've chose to uh, sit here is because it's a really good question. It's an in-depth question. I get asked this many, many times. So I want to actually concentrate rather than walk around because when I walk around, I see random stuff going on and we start diversifying and talking about other stuff. But for this one in particular, I want to go through this step by step by step because I think it's a really important subject. And the question I'm, I've been asked is, what are the things I need to be aware of when I go into an Agogo bar, particularly if I'm new to this and I haven't been before? Now, I know some of you watching this are thinking, oh man, it's just obvious. But you know, there might be things that aren't obvious that will actually come back and bite you on the ass. So I'm gonna go through a few things. Now listen, I'm by no means an expert, I've never said I am, but I do see what goes on in these places. And the beauty of what we've got on this channel here, the community that we have is, guys, please drop your comments below about experiences that you've seen or you've been part of or you've witnessed that maybe could have been avoided had you have had a bit of a, a nudge and a wink before you went in. So what I'm also gonna do is I wanna change the format in this respect because looking at me, this is gonna be a reasonably long video, but looking at me for this amount of time is probably the worst thing anyone would have to endure. So as you know, I've been here many, many years. I've got a lot of stock video footage of back in the day, etc., etc. So I'm just gonna overlay some video format just while I talk about stuff so you can watch stuff whilst you're listening to me babble on about what you shouldn't do in an go go bar and tips and advice. So hopefully you like this style. Uh, we've got 12 key points that I wanna go through. And as I've said before, if you have any other experiences you'd like to share, guys, please drop your comments below. That is what makes this channel so special. All right, so here we go then. 12 tips what you shouldn't or shouldn't do in an agogo bar. Now these are in no particular order. Okay, I've written them down just to make sure that we go through things, but these are in no particular order. Uh, I just wanna go through them step by step. All right, so first one, draft beer. Now, guys, remember this is a business, okay? Yes, you're there to enjoy yourself and the, the scenery will be fantastic inside the agogo bars, etc., etc. But these girls are here to make money. So if you walk in and you order the draft beer because it's on special and it's like 50 bar or 80 bar or whatever it is, a pint, or a, not a pint, but a, a, a glass, the girls will pick up on this and they will instantly associate you as being a bit of a cheap Charlie. Now, if you're that girl, think about it logically. If you see a guy there that's drinking spirits and you see a guy next to him that's drinking a draft beer and nursing it for an hour, do you think that they're gonna to come to you or will they go to the guy next to you? Now, I'm not saying what you're gonna do is wrong by drinking draft beer. I'm just giving you the, the uh, heads up on what the girls perceive you to be based on the fact you're drinking the cheap Charlie happy hour drink. So if beer is your thing, in all fairness, guys, if you're going in there with the intentions of perhaps finding some, uh, some uh, company for the evening and you're looking to, to have a bit of fun, me personally, I would suggest that you stay away from the draft beers purely because the girls will interpret the draft beer as you are a cheap Charlie. So just a little bit of a heads up there. That's all I'm saying to you. And if draft beer is your thing, well then you stick to your guns and you crack on. I'm not saying what you're doing is wrong, I'm just simply saying how the girls perceive you once they see you drinking and nursing a, a half of a beer for like two hours. So yeah, be very careful on the draft beer. Uh, next thing is when you go in there, you know, try to befriend the Mamasan and the security staff. You never know when you will need them, uh, particularly the Mamasan. If you're gonna go back to this place time and time again, you may find that sometimes you go and it's relatively busy. And yes, I know right now, obviously things aren't, but let's go where this is back to normal. Um, if you go into the place, it's busy, the Mamasan will always take care of you if you take care of her. You know, buying her her drink every now and then is not the end of the world, but it could be an absolute blessing in disguise when you need it. Likewise with security, you know, if you happen to get into an altercation inside the Agogo bar, I mean, I must admit that doesn't happen very often, but it's always good to have the security on your side. So, you know, again, you know, be polite to them. I'm not saying you buy them drinks or anything, but be polite to them, always smile, you know, just make them feel welcome that you appreciate the job that they're doing because you never know when you may need them. And trust me, over the years, there hasn't been that many instances, but I do, 
have experience where I've seen people kick off and you know you don't want to be in that situation and uh, I'm very lucky you know I go around all these bars and I, I've got a lot of security friends really really good friends some I've known for years some have come to my house I've been even to their house that's how cool we get on likewise with the Mamasan you know the Mamasan will always be your guide and if you ask a nice you know what, what about this girl over here? She'll tell you straight. You know, she won't lie to you because it's not in her nature to lie to you simply because it gives her bar a bad name. And she may not be the owner, but she'll still class it as her bar. So she'll tell you straight about the girl. So again, you know, it doesn't hurt to be friends with the Mama Sam. Now on the subject of when you go in, don't be forced into sitting with a girl that you're not interested in. Because remember, this is a business and it's very easy when you walk in to sit down and suddenly a girl will come and sit next to you and she'll be like, hi, how are you? And you're thinking, oh no, really? And you know, in general, we're very polite as, as individuals and we don't like to offend people. And we feel that what we're gonna say is gonna be rude and that they'll take offense. So, you know, when you go in, if you do get a girl come and sit next to you that perhaps isn't the girl that you wanted to sit with, don't be rude, you know, don't say, look, just go away, leave me alone. You know, you can make up a, a, all manner of excuses. You know, I've had it happen in myself when I've been out and I'm like, I'm okay at the moment, sweetheart, thank you very much, but if I change my mind, I'll, I'll let you know. And they will accept that, you know, it's not an issue. And if you go in there and you say, look, I'm just having a drink, you know, I'm not really up, up for any company right now, rather than shooing her away and saying, you know, go away, and she loses face in front of her other working colleagues, it's nice just to say, hey, I'm, I'm not really up for uh, any company right now, but if I am, I'll, I'll let you know. Because she'll then go and sit down. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, hang on, what about when I do want a girl to come and sit with me? Well, the chances are she'll be sat with another customer anyway. And if she's not, it doesn't really matter. You know, you can still bring a girl off the stage or you can get another girl that's not, not on dancing to come and sit with you. It's not really an issue. So. You know, for your own sanity and your own, you know, your own enjoyment, don't be afraid to say to these girls, look, I'm okay, thank you, but if I change my mind, I'll let you know, or I'm, I'm, all, I'm all right where I am, because this is a business. And I'm gonna keep saying it to you time and time again, because whether you like it or not, this is a business. So don't get yourself to be allowed to be forced into sitting with a girl that you're not really interested in. Now, when the girl does come over, uh, lady drinks. Now we know they're part and package of how the girls earn their money. It's pretty much the majority of the way they earn their money. So, you know, be respectful. Remember, you're buying her a drink in order for her to be able to spend time to sit with you. So, when you get a lady drink, you need to clarify a few things first. Number one, make sure you're aware of the price. And it doesn't make you a cheap Charlie. It just means that you're in a situation where you think, right, let's have a look. Okay, this lady drinks 180 baht or it's 220 baht. You know, there are some very expensive lady drinks here. So just be safe and just say to her, you know, oh, you wanna know how much are the lady drinks in? And they will tell you. And also if you look around the room, there are often signs showing you a lady drink is 160 baht or 180 baht, whatever it is. So when you buy the drink, make sure you preempt that purchase with understanding how much that drink's gonna cost you. And incidentally, a little trick that the girls sometimes play, not that often, but they will do it, is they may order something like a, a I don't know, say like a vodka and tonic. Well, that's actually two drinks, believe it or not. So again, you know, when you get her a drink, specify what drink she's going to have. There are some people that get a bit upset about this lady drink situation because then what they say is, well, hang on, that's not alcohol. I wanna buy you an alcoholic drink. Well, put yourself in the situation where you come in at one o'clock in the morning and she's had to down like 20 alcoholic drinks and she's leathered and plastered in the corner of the room dribbling. You know, that's not really gonna help her. It's not gonna help you because you're gonna be like, don't wanna go over there. So a lot of the girls will just drink like an orange juice or maybe a, you know just a, a Sprite or something. You know don't be offended you know it really is remember th these girls are drinking night after night after night and it will just rinse their kidneys you know and they'll be just or well, they'll just be a mess after a couple of years so if they choose to drink a non-alcoholic drink remember you're not buying them a drink you're buying them the ability to get off the stage and come and sit with you when they do sit down be very careful especially the more uh, experienced girls in the bars that they don't start inviting their mates over and you know what will happen is they'll try and peer press you and they, and they they also tend to hunt on you as well so for instance 
if you go into an Agogo bar and she says, oh, hi, how are you? What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, how long have you been here? And you say, oh, this is my first time. Uh -uh. They're gonna go, yoo here we go. There's a newbie in town and they are gonna play every trick in the book to try and rinse you of your money as much as possible and as quickly as possible because at the end of the day, yep, you know what I'm gonna say, it's a business. So when they bring their mates over and their mates start sitting down with you, you can just politely say, oh, it's okay, I just wanna talk to this girl, thank you. It's very kind of you, but I'm okay, thank you. And just gently shoo them away. Now, some of them are gonna be hardcore and they're gonna sit there and go, oh, it's okay, and they'll sit right next to you and they'll try and interact with you even though you're not talking to them. What I would suggest you do if it's not in your nature to say, look, I really am you know, trying to be nice, but can you please leave me alone? Just turn your back slightly so you're facing away from them and just focus on the girl that you are talking to and she will get the message. She may not like it, but she will get the message. So, you know, don't be peer pressured with all their mates surrounding you and also the service staff. You know, the service staff will walk up and they'll, they'll indicate with their hand that their throat's dry and all the rest of it. You know, listen, just don't give in, all right? Remember, this is a business. They're trying to escalate as many drinks out of you as possible, as quickly as possible, and that's how they will earn their money. So hopefully, you know, take that on board, check the price, you know, and also when the girl sits down and drinks a drink, tell her, hey, I'll buy you a drink, but don't just go necking it and thinking you're gonna get another one in like a nanosecond. I've seen girls that will throw a drink down their neck like in, a, in a five seconds and look at the customer and he's like, oh, do you want another one? And they'll bury like three, four, five drinks in, in the time you've had yours. So, you know, take control of the situation. Yes, I'll buy a drink. What drink is it you're gonna have? I'll have a, a vodka and Coke. Is that one or two drinks? Is that one drink? One drink. Okay, you can have that, no problem. When the mates come over, thank you very much, but I'm okay, I'm just gonna talk to this lady. And say to say, listen, I'll buy a drink, but don't neck it in one, yeah? And you can indicate, say, don't finish your glass in one, you, okay, you, you take your time, cha-cha. And they'll understand, oh, okay, yeah, this guy's not an idiot. Um, also, one thing about the drinks, and I know, I mean, it's happened to me, and I'm sure it's happened to the guys that are watching this that have been here a while, or been here many times, you buy a girl a drink and then the next thing she puts like one sip in and then she puts the glass down and goes and dances for another 20 minutes <laughs> you're sat there thinking hang about what's going on here so again you know just be very aware and ask her what time you dance again and they've got a rotor on the board okay every go go bar has the board with the numbers on it check her number ask the mama san if you're not sure or ask the girl how long before you go and dance now she might say to you oh five minutes or ten minutes so you know if you do buy her a drink, you're now only gonna capture that amount of time and then she's gonna go and dance on the dance stage. So, you know, again, remember this is a business. So ask, you know, how long before your next dance? And if she says, oh, I'm not dancing out for 30 minutes, well, okay, great. You've now got that opportunity to get to know each other and you know that she's not gonna neck her drink and dive on, onto the stage within a second. So, you know, just be upfront and ask those questions. It may seem an uncomfortable question to ask, you might find it particularly unpleasant to have to ask these questions, but at the end of the day, guys, you are the customer and you need to make sure you know what situation you're letting yourself in for. Next tip, when you buy the drink, okay, and you get the bin, now if, you're not, if you've never been here before, and I apologize to you guys that have been here many times, but you get what's called a bin, and the bin is normally a brown, uh, a like a little cup, and in that cup will be your ticket, which is your bill for the bar, for the drink you've just bought. Do not feel embarrassed every single time that bin is put down in front of you to take the ticket out and check what they have written. Because I'm not gonna say they're gonna, they're gonna deliberately load your bin, but if you keep checking it and making sure you're, you're aware of what you're spending, the chances of those kind of, let's call them mistakes, are less likely to happen. So don't feel offended by when the bin comes down, taking it out, reading it and putting it back in. All you're doing is you're just showing a sign to the service staff and to the girl, hey, listen, I'm not green beyond the ears and you're not gonna mug me over, I'm gonna check all of my bills. And you know it avoids that uncomfortable situation later on because if you've had a fair few drinks and let's say you're expecting your bin to be say a thousand baht and it turns up to be 2000 baht, well, you can't kick off guys. If you kick off, you are in a world of trouble, and I can't express this enough. You are in a world of trouble because you start kicking off 
and trust me the security staff will happily calm you down and there is nothing you can do about it what i suggest you do and what most people tend to do is do you know what okay you want to sting me for a drink or whatever you've done fine no dramas here's the money get up be polite walk out the door and just never set foot back in there again because you know if they've done it to you the first time and you've paid they're going to do it to you again so you know don't put yourself in a violent confrontation because trust me I say this many times and people, some people laugh about saying, oh yeah, whatever, I'm gonna do this or I would do that. Let me tell you straight guys, whether you like it or not, whether you accept what I say or not, there is no place for violence in Thailand. You will always become a, a cash cow for the police and you will always get the wrong end of a beating, particularly if you're going up against Thai people. So, you know, even with a phalang to phalang, you know, this is why I'm saying it pays to know people. It's good to have the security on your side because if you have a disagreement with someone in the bar and it starts to get a bit heated, they will. if you've always been polite to them, well, then they'll always be on your side. So, you know, guys, please, please, I can't say this one strongly enough, just literally pay the bill, smile, be polite, walk out the door, and then in your mind you can be calling them all the names you want under the sun. It doesn't matter, but walk away. Now... When you do come to pay your bill, here's another tip for you. And I apologize, guys, if for those of you that are watching, saying, well, hang on, I know all this. This is predominantly aimed at people that have not yet been to Pattaya or are not familiar with the Agogo bar scene. But when you pay your tip, okay, so when you pay your bin, you may or may not wish to leave a tip. Some people do, and some people don't. And I'm not gonna criticize you if you don't leave a tip. Each to their own, that's your prerogative. What I would say is, remember, these girls have incredible, and I really mean it, incredible memories. They will watch you, they will talk to you, you will go home, you will come back six months later, and they'll say, hey T, how are you doing? You're thinking, how in the hell do you know me? Because you've forgotten, but they haven't. So when you do go to pay your bin, if you want to leave a tip, well then that's fine. If you don't, okay, no problem, but it goes back to that whole purpose of what I was saying about drinking a draft beer. They're gonna go, oh yeah, cheap Charlie. He wants to come in here, nurse a beer, try and have a little bit of a play around and all the rest of it, and he's not even gonna pay me for my time. So they will, you know, they will identify that pretty quickly. But regarding the tip, now you've got to understand the tipping system here, okay? When they give you the bin and the, the actual final bill, it may be in the pot still, and you'll be encouraged to put the money inside the pot, or they may come back with a small flip over folder with your bin inside. If you want to leave a tip, and you put your tip money inside that folder, that will be then split, normally at the end of every night, or certainly by the end of every week, amongst everybody that works in that agogo. That includes the door staff, it includes the cleaner, it includes the, the mamasan, the cashier, every single girl, everybody will get a share of that tip. If you don't want to do that and you still want to tip the girl that's been sat with you, well, just give her the tip. And as a little, uh, little pointer, normally the girls will ask you to place the tip in a position where you perhaps think, oh, that's quite a good place to hold the tip. And I'll leave that to your imagination. But don't be afraid, don't be shy. It's a bit of fun. Remember, it's a business. They are not in any way at all emotionally attached to what you're about to do. They're just having a bit of fun. So yeah, go on, you can tip me. So, you know, in regards to how much is the average tip in an Agogo bar, I can't give you that answer. Some people leave 20 baht, some people leave 100 baht, some people leave a couple of 100 baht, they'll give to the girl. It really depends on what you want to give that girl. But remember, reverse the role now. If you've sat with somebody and you've entertained them and all the rest of it, and then when they leave, they give you 20 baht, are you likely to go back and make a play for that person the next time they come into your business? Chances are you're gonna say, oh, sod that. Last time I spent half an hour with him, we had a bit of fun, etc., etc., and he gave me 20 baht. So, you know, just tip accordingly to what you feel is appropriate at that moment in time. But if you do plan on coming back and you do want to speak to that same girl again, you know, think about the long-term game rather than the short-term. Another one, uh, another tip for you is, I hear this so many times, and people will say, oh, what time do you finish work? Because I don't want to pay the bar fine, I'll come and meet you after work. Well, I understand why, because maybe you don't want to pay the bar fine. Some of the Agogo -go bars, you know, be very careful. The bar fines can be quite a lot. They can be like 800 bar, 1500 bar, some places even more. But again, if you're trying to shortcut the system, 
basically what you're saying to that girl is I'm not really prepared to pay and that's a wrong signal for her. Instead of saying that, why don't you instead just, you know, make a note and say, look, you know, can I get your line? Maybe I'll hook up with you another day. And then you can message her later on. But remember, when you do this, you're taking the money away from the bar and that money from the bar is used to keep the electric bill and the service staff and the, the security and everything paid. So, you know, just be a bit aware about this coming back after work routine. And also, you know, don't forget, you might have your heart set on meeting a girl and, you know, someone a bar finder. And then what are you going to do? You're then stuffed because basically you can't go back to the girl you wanted to and you basically end up walking home thinking, damn, that was a mistake. So, you know, if you are going to bar fine, you know, guys, pay the bar fine. Let's just get on with it. Pay the bar fine. Go and have fun. Enjoy yourself. In terms of having fun and enjoying yourself, and again, this is a really difficult subject to talk about, but I'm going to nail it down for you in the best way I can. You need to be upfront about what you are thinking is going to be your entertainment later on in the evening. And I say it like this, if you have a particular thing that floats your boat and each to their own, for goodness sake, say it. And tell her, look, you know, I like to do this. Is that something you're in, you, know, you, you would uh, interact with me? Because the last thing in the world you want to do is pay a bar fine, then go off, then go back to your hotel and find that what you was hoping for isn't going to happen. And that then puts you in another situation where you're going to sit there and think, well, what do I do? You know, you can get upset, you can get angry, you can sulk, you can say to a leave, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the point being is you're not going to get what you want. What you're better off doing is saying to look, this is the kind of thing I like to enjoy. How about that with you? And they'll tell you straight, listen, you're not going to ask her something she hasn't been asked already. And, you know, be very, very upfront. Don't be embarrassed. This is not a game. This is not emotional. This is business. Just tell her, look, this is what I would like to do. Is that in your remit? Is that something you're comfortable with? And if they say yes, fine. If they say no, well, then just, you know, say, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to leave. So just be very, very careful on that side of things. If you've had a few beers, guys, and I've seen this a few times, and honestly, it's cringeworthy. Don't go dancing on the stage, for God's sake. You know, I see these guys, they've, they've got smashed and then they're on the stage taking their shirt off, dancing and all the rest of it. Honestly, guys, come on. You know, it's funny. People talk about YouTube and, all that, and oh, I don't want to be seen doing things. Well, you know, what you do behind them closed doors, fine. You do what you want. But honestly, you, you really don't want to be doing that. So try to keep yourself intact and try not to get up there and think you're, uh, you're going to bust out some shapes or some moves. Because honestly, the girls just think you're hilarious. They just think, what an idiot. And they really do. They laugh about you. And particularly if you don't understand what they're saying in Thai, you know, they, they will be quite brutal in their description of you. So keep yourself sat down. Have fun. Let the girls do what they're good at and let them do their dancing. And uh, you just sit back and admire the view. Right, two last ones. Uh, I think it's two last ones. Let me just check. Hang on one second. Yeah, I've done those, done those, done those. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, right. My two last tips. And I've left the last one, the most important one to last, because this is the one you've really got to be careful of. Um, but the other one that I want to speak to you about is speaking Thai. So if you can speak the language and you go into an agoga bar, don't talk in Thai. If you're trying to get yourself in a, you know, maybe find yourself some company, it, all it does is just say to the girls, oh yeah, so you're new here, are you? And you can speak the language. Invariably, the girls will then change to Isan. So if you can speak Isan, then okay, carry on. But it's not really a good thing to do. Just go in there, be yourself, keep yourself to yourself, have a great time, enjoy yourself, and just let the Thai language go out the door. If you're learning Thai and you want to go in there and start practicing, that could be a bit of fun, I'm not going to lie. But again, you know, there's nothing worse than when you say, you know, couldn't you or I have thinking, okay, what's your name? And she wangs out a sentence, you're thinking, oh my God, what did you just say? So, you know, maybe test that kind of thing in, a, in an open bar, in a beer bar, more so than in a go-go bar, because it is business. They just don't want to converse in all that Thai language, and they just want you to buy them a drink and, you know, see where the evening ends. Okay, my last tip, and it's the most important tip I can give anybody. There is a tendency for people to come into these go-go bars and try and sneak a sneaky picture. They'll get their telephones out, they'll make out they're on the phone, talking to a friend with their head facing sideways, and they'll be clicking the button. Guys, please, if there's no other tip that you take on board from anything I say, please take this one on, on board. Do not, under any circumstances, get caught taking sneaky photos or videos. Number one, you're going to be right in the firing line with the security guards, and I've seen some really brutal, 
really brutal uh, ways of extracting the photos off of your phone. I've seen people dragged out the door and given a good idea. I've seen security staff grabbing the phone and stamping on the phone and just shattering it into a million pieces. Yes, it happens, okay? There are signs in every Agogo bar, no photos. So please, you know, whatever the moment takes you, whatever, do not get your phone out because the minute you do, the girls are like radars, they'll pick up on it instantly. The Mama Sam will be instantly and she'll be speaking to the security. The security will come in and if you have been doing a sneaky photo and it's on your phone, my Lord, you are in a world of trouble. Leave the photos to people like me that are employed to go into the bars and do those. Well, right, we've got a train coming past. Uh, leave, leave the photos to people like myself and the other photographers here. Do not get yourself caught because honest to God, guys, you are in a world of trouble and I mean serious trouble. It really is a absolute no-no. So please, please save yourself that problem. All right, so that's it for me regarding tips about things that you shouldn't do inside the Agogo bar and things that you need to be aware of. Um, I hope they've been of interest to you. You know, some of you guys I'm teaching to suck eggs and I apologize for that. Some of you guys have never been here before and are thinking about coming out here for the first time and that's fantastic. Please come over, you'll have an incredible time. And these tips and guidelines are just purely there just to help you and to guide you along as to things you shouldn't be doing inside the Agogo bars. All I will say is if you have been here a fair few times or you know the score, guys, please share. Please put your comments down below. Give us some experience. Jump on our Discord group. And I keep going on about our Discord and I'm not going to stop. The Discord group is there to help you. It's an online chat forum. It's fantastic. There's over 5,000 members on there. You can ask all these kind of questions and you'll get people that have been here many, many years who will be able to help you straight away instantaneously and it will avoid you putting yourself in hot water. So please guys, there's a link down below, check it out, click on the link, it will take you to an app, download the app, join, jobs are good, and then you're on there. If you haven't already, have a look at our YouTube members area. There's more and more bars now that are joining on the YouTube area and are offering you a free buzzing shot. So uh, every time you go into a bar on a go-go and you buy your first drink, you'll get a free buzzing shot if they're part of our scheme and you will see uh, and you show your digital ID card. So have a look at that, guys. And uh, that's about it. As always, guys, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon, please, if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much indeed. If you have got a particular question you'd like me to cover, drop me an email, 247patea at gmail.com. I will do my very best. And uh, as I say, jump on our Discord group. There's, there's lots and lots of experienced people, far more knowledgeable than me, that can help you with much more specific questions, uh, tips, and advice. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. And as always, please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Mm -hmm.